Aries, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. That felt good. All right, Aries, what do you need to know about love? Go ahead and say the universe got for you in love. Bear in mind, my love, these are general readers. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com. And if you join my channel, but the best price is if you go to Patreon. Those are the perks for the other things, but if you're looking for the best price, Patreon. What do you need to know about love? I went through a while, a while ago. Whenever I did Aries readings, a real, real sexy feeling every time I did it. I just kind of got a little bit there. Hello, Aries. Some of the sex is going on. Looks like I'm plucking that string again, the name. So in the comments below, how you doing? <laughs> All right, Aries, what do you need to know about love? You got some big changes coming up, Aries. There's something in you that uh, it sort of felt like in your life you've not been unhappy, but you kind of felt like you were settling for, I don't know, I don't feel like you were unhappy. It's just sort of like, well, this is what it is. I'm kind of settling. I, I feel like there should be more in my life, but I... I'm unhappy, but there's something missing. That's the sort of the vibe I was getting. And in that feeling of wanting more, you've kind of been manifesting in whatever that was. This is a love reading, so that's kind of what you've been manifesting in. The magician what you've been bringing in. Thing is, Aries, what you don't realize is that you're a pretty magical, mystical being. So, yeah. <laughs> you might, it might just have been a bit of a general sort of like, well, oh, you know, something missing. I'm not along. I'm not unhappy, but you know. Well, yeah, but this is a inevitable, massive, like, change. <laughs> coming in it's 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 gonna happen big shift why is the tower here for what you need to know right now let's have a look shall we it's not like i don't know it's not like you're unhappy it's just something missing a little yearning in you for something greater. <laughs> well, Aries. Here we go. Hold on to your butts. Yeah, we, this is... Uh, this change, this tower moment that's coming in your life, this is going to, like, shake you to your core. You're going to start, like, what, what do I, what am I, what do I believe in now? What, <laughs> who am I? What do I want? What's, it's going to shake you down. It's, it's a shakedown. I, I kind of see that somebody 
has entered your life that um, hmm. I'm just trying to think of the right words for this person. There's uh, so many words are coming out. I can't pick one. It's, it's the, the like fishing for the for the word. It's, they're all flying around. Just like just pick one. God, this person's interesting. They're different from anyone you've ever met. They are. Um, uh, it's like they say the right things at the right time that, that, and, and make you think things. Uh, that you've never thought this person makes you think and uh, tell me more about them they're unearthly ethereal bit of a fantasy it's a bit of a fantasy my love I'm seeing that here look at you looking up at her or him whatever they are just saying to her because it's a she on the card but that's you, the lion. You're like, well, you know. It's fire in you, being an Aries. And uh, it's definitely fire in that lion. I'm seeing that that's you. And you're sort of looking up like, you can tame this beast in me. Well, you know what Aries is. You're just a pretty angry goat, aren't you, really? <laughs> Well, it's, it sounds more romantic saying beast and fire. So, I, yeah, all right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Very cross of goats. It doesn't sound as romantic at all, does it? Anyway. So let's put a pretty cross goat in there instead. And she's like, he's, he's looking up at her like, wow, you, yeah. You're amazing. You're taming me. I feel like... I feel weak and yet strong in your presence. It's a bit of a fantasy, this person. But they're making you think about what you want. And I think that your magical, mystical Aries, like, powers drew this person in. Here they are. You gotta think things over. I don't think it's a realistic fantasy. And part of you's like, mm, I wanna go for it. I wanna I want something to happen here. I don't know, let's have a look. Tell me more. What does Aries need to know right now? What are you not saying? And who are you not saying it to? Can you hear the croak in my voice here? Yeah, that's my throat check. We're going, nah. Wait a minute. Aries needs to know right now. How much do you want to change in your life? Because you, you weren't really that unhappy. I really need to just specify this here. Because there is a possibility that you make a wrong move and you could lose everything that you've got. Do you really want to lose it? I think this is a time for you to hesitate. Not go for it. This is the time to go, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do I, what do I really want here? It's difficult though, because this, this person's like, let's ask more about this person. Tell me about this uh, character in the strength card. Just said thin ice, dangerous ground. 
Um, you sort of feel like they are way out of your league, but they they've come into your life. You've manifested them in. So like I don't know. There's no such thing really, is there? Some reason just thought Libra. Uh, there's no Libra cards here. Then. Oh no, there is just this. It might be why I said it. Tell me more about this person. Um, I'm sort of feeling like with the Knight of Wands here, um. got dry shampoo in my hair it's really itchy just did it <laughs> it's like oh but i kind of like the itch ah that's dry shampoo itch feels good um i feel like this is someone that you're communicating with but aren't meeting but you're holding something back from this person I can't, I can't get my words out hardly, like, it's all tensing up. Mm. You're holding something back from this person. I don't feel like you have to. I think you're afraid of... Uh, opening up to this person about something. I don't think you have to. I think this is a soul connection that um, is important and it's happening at this time for a reason, but it's not realistic. You could lose what you've got that you're actually not unhappy with. I think you were just a bit bored. You just needed something exciting to happen, but you're actually not unhappy. I think, you know, everyone needs a little bit of change every now and then. This is a man that's not available. Emotionally. It's, I kind of feel like that's that's you, actually, if male or female, whatever you are. This is uh, someone who's unavailable. And this is where this is coming back in again. It's just something that you're not talking to them about. Now I feel like that's me and not a message from spirit. I feel like that's me coming through. Mm, don't feel right. It, 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 I'll say it anyway, but it's. It, I feel like it's from me, and I feel like mm, I don't like it. It's. 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 It's my message, not. I feel like it's me being judgmental. I don't need to back the f off. Not judgmental against you. Don't worry. It, it kind of feels like this situation that you're not unhappy in but are bored in and just wanted a little bit of excitement. You haven't really told them the truth about that. I don't know. I feel like that's coming from me, though. Oh, yeah, I'm in a relationship that, that you know, we're... We don't sleep together anymore. We don't. We're not together anymore. We're not. I sort of feel like that's 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 my own. That's coming from my head, not not the universe. Ignore it. Ignore it. I had to say it anyway, just in case. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Say so you're being judgmental, girl. I know. I'm sorry. I do try and, and uh, remain 
on the outside as a reader so that's why i'm like mm, well that's coming from me and i'm not really i don't really judge anyway i'm like yeah, you, you do you honey i sort of feel like if somebody's gonna be in a marriage and see other people that's you it's just you doing you i don't judge that back you know i had my heart broken by my husband doing just that and and uh I've come to see that sort of behaviour or any kind of... I don't think people do things at you to hurt you. I feel like people are selfish and they do things for themselves because that's what they want in that moment. And not to go, well, ugh, I'm cheating on you because you're boring. It's, nobody does that unless they're a really freaking horrible person, but... I don't know, I'm feeling like you're not able to open up about something and it feels really tight here and, and in my jaw. Like you haven't been entirely honest. Like maybe you are happy and you've said you're not. Or maybe you've said I'm in an open relationship and you're not. And yeah, they're totally fine with me talking to other people, but they're not. Something like that is what's coming to mind. But <laughs> you can say in the comments below, mind your business. <laughs> and we shall laugh together at how I should mind my business. Ruffle. Much ruffles. Yeah. You know, this could actually be the other way around. Mm, I can barely speak. It's all like, like, you know, when you feel like a yawn coming on in the morning, you're like, I just got a yawn. It sort of kind of feels a little bit like that. Okay. So what's coming up in the near future? This person's pretty extraordinary and exciting and you, you you sort of feel like maybe there is a beast inside you that needs taming and and they're the one that could and you'd be happy to <laughs> to let them because you'd have excitement in your life with this person around i i sort of kind of feel like they might be a bit like oh oh really you feel that way oh okay tell me more about what's coming in the near future this is the catalyst that's dangerous for you if you are not and again tell me to mind my business if you're not telling the other person in your life who you are actually happy with and you're just a little bit bored if you're not telling them what, what you're doing and what's going on and they find out about this person about this friendship that you have going on I I feel like it will be really bad like really pretty bad But I also sort of feel like you're kind of throwing caution to the wind and I don't know if that's a great idea. Let's just do this. Let's, I, I want to I wanna explore life a bit more. I wonder, like, have you been in a relationship with somebody for a very long time since you were young and you haven't really... Oh, that's my neighbour's puppy. Can you hear it? They must have gone out to the shop for a minute. <laughs> oh, it's called Squid. Adorable. What's 
coming in the near future for you. I'm really, I'm really concerned. Like you're not being totally honest about something, and I, I feel like mm, you need to prepare. I really, oh, I gotta yawn. I gotta let it out. See if it's gonna stop me feeling like that. Oh. It's a bit of a forced yawn to try and <laughs> sort of stop that feeling. It's not really gone. I, I, I don't think you're going to be happy if you lose what you've got that you thought you were a bit bored with, but you're actually not. You're actually really happy. Ooh, well, this is the best you can hope for. It's not great, is it? This is, this is... Confrontations. Ac accusations. Um... Look how worried he is. It's, it's not what I want. This is, I don't want to have this fight. I was just, I was just playing. I was just... You in the near future. I feel you pulling back from this. Yeah, pulling back. This is. It's got no future. You can see, like, with the Knight of Cups in reverse, it's all a fantasy. Like making a mess of things. This person's very much uh, interesting. That's, it's getting even more interesting as the longer I, I've got to say something now because otherwise you're going to get bored. But it's like things are rolling around in my head. This person is uh, very independent and emotionally stable. Um, that's one of the things that's very attractive to you is they, they, they know who they are and they know definitely who they're not. And uh, I feel like the person that you are with, as much as you're not unhappy, you're bored. Um, I think that this person sometimes is a bit Oh, where is me? I've another problem. Oh, more troubles. It just feel a little bit like, oh god, god. Let's just go out and have fun. Let's just leave it all behind. Have have a good time tonight, you know. Just, yeah, let's let your hair down and have a wild time. And and it just it sometimes feels a bit dreary and and. <laughs> the drudge of life it's just like i'm not unhappy but come on it's a little fun and this person's very much in their power and they don't really uh look to anyone else for compliments or happiness or um validation they're they're, they're pretty good on their own i think they're they're male and they because this is for them they're male and they're female aspects of himself are very balanced okay this is the hard bit this is the outcome i'm gonna read this i'm gonna ask about this magical mystical person for you i'm gonna ask about them. how do they really feel about you what are their intentions towards you uh, what do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe i feel like it's mm, I don't feel like you need to know about the other person in your life who you're kind of bored with, but you're not. You really love them still. I feel like you know that inside and out. You don't really need to know anything about it. But what I can say is your outcome is probably not great. This is like justice in reverse can be like a divorce, ending a contract. It, it could be ending the friendship with this magical mystical person and, you know let's have a look why is justice in reverse here i 
can't know. It's, uh, yeah. So this is them. This is, this is your magical, mystical person. They're very special. Um, could be uh, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. This is what you want with this person is this new beginning. And are you willing to lose what you've got? For somebody who's not really a sure thing, because I, I kind of feel like they're a little bit... Mm, I don't... I don't know, Aries. I don't know if I want this. Like, and it's 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 difficult for you. You're like, ah! You sort of feel like you're chasing it a little bit. Cheers. Oh, lovely cup of tea. I'm gonna like, let's have a look. What have we got? get this like feeling like this is a new beginning that you want but it's just something about this that with this page here it's it's almost like it's not gonna go anywhere that's that that page is about uh progress not really going anywhere no progress lack of that's the word i'm looking for lack of progress but it's a new beginning that you'd like is it you're not really unhappy so think it through think it over time for healing don't make any rash decisions i'd say yeah i want to pull one of these but i also sort of want to pull one of these i want to go for this for your last card. I'm not going to pull you a love lyric today. Think it over by the cards, because I just said think it over. It's not really a love song, but it's your song for the day. Let's pull a couple of love angels. So Aries, please. Ooh. Make the effort. Great love. Easy that. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, okay. Just don't. Well, these guys rush in. Don't you be rushing in, okay? No rash behavior. Heart to heart conversations. I think that's with both parties here. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Somebody wants to listen and somebody doesn't. Food for thought. All right. If you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below and choose your link. See you later.